All right, welcome back to the Oliver build series. Uh, today we're gonna be tearing down these two engines, putting a bunch of new parts on my new engine, getting my old engine ready to go off to a buddy's. Um, and then we're going to be cleaning, painting, etc. this engine as well. Um, and then I'll be running through all the new parts that are going on to it. So with that, let's get started. So this is my oil filter relocation plate. Um, I'm gonna pull this off first because it's easiest and then we're gonna pull the whole oil filter assembly off of the other engine, put it onto this engine for my buddy and then I'm gonna take this, throw it on the other engine. So we're gonna pop this off real quick, get them swapped around. Alright, so we got a nice new Rhines gasket and some M8 by I believe 1.25 is the thread pitch. Stainless steel bolts, I think these are 40 mil long or 35 mil long, but uh, those will poke through just enough, probably about five, six threads, uh, give us plenty of, of engagement. So. Alright, so the new engine for Oliver is all stripped down, got everything torn off both sides of it. We're going to wheel it outside, scrub it, degrease it, give it a good wash, get it all ready. Bugger off. Alright, so I got a new block heater from Mercedes. This is a 33 millimeter threaded version. They make a 33 and a 38, so just keep that in mind when you're ordering one. Um, it comes with a new plug. It's got a nice reinforced cable for the first 10 or so inches. So we're going to throw some Teflon tape on this and get it installed. All right, we're gonna take the valve cover off and do a valve adjustment real quick. Um, there's plenty of videos all over the internet as well as write-ups on how to do this. Um, I'm not gonna go too in depth. Basically, you need two 14 millimeter wrenches and a set of feeler gauges.
it, so my camera decided it didn't want to record the last two valves. But, anywho, we're going to throw the valve cover on and then throw the manifolds on. So we'll get our new layered gasket on there, and then we'll get our exhaust. And our intake manifolds. So I'm getting ready to put the HE200 turbo on the engine. I got this through Doomsday Diesel. They offer a drain kit for it that has a piece of silicone hose and then this piece of metal. This has a barb on the end. I chopped that off and tapped it for 3 8 NPT. This allows me to run my JIC fittings. Um, the only reason I'm running these as opposed to AN is that I can get these cheap through work. Um, we run water and chemical through them, so I'm sure they'll be fine for oil. I've been running them for the past year, so we're going to get this threaded in. I'm facing it towards the front of the engine so that uh, it'll clear my engine mount and my block heater and everything underneath there. So let's get this threaded in, throw it on the engine. So for my heater core outlet, um, I just tapped this outlet with a 3 8 NPT tap. And then I machined up a little piece of brass NPT pipe with a little relief so that the hose clamp has something to grab. Alright, so next up is the power steering bracket. We're going to throw that on and then get ready to do glow plugs and fuel filter next. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, getting ready to put the injection pump on. So we're going to get the engine turned over to 24 degrees before top dead center. If you're running a stock pump, you can do 26 degrees. are. If you go past it, keep going around. Um, you don't want to turn the engine over backwards. In order to make sure you are before top dead center, just make sure that your cam lobes for your first cylinder are up and not pressing down on the lifters. Alright, so before we throw the injection pump on the engine, we're going to go ahead and replace the primer pump with a newer Bosch unit. Um, these Bosch units come with this thread adapter so just make sure you're using the right thread for my particular primer pump it is the smaller thread it comes with a copper washer don't forget to replace that and then we'll throw this on the engine all right 
right, next up is new gasket. Um, I've got some lock nuts, nylock nuts as well. Um, usually you put a little bit of blue Loctite on these studs. I'm gonna do a dab of blue Loctite as well as the nylocks just for a bit of peace of mind, so. So we're gonna start getting the plumbing done for the turbo. Um, I have, you can probably barely see it up here, a turbo smart oil pressure regulator. Um, this will keep the turbo feed at 40 PSI um, no matter what. So idle, full throttle, etc. will keep it at 40 PSI. That has these O-ring fittings, AN-4 I believe. Um, so we're gonna plumb up the feed, return, and bypass. So the bypass is just extra pressure and that will get plumbed into my oil pan drain. Um, so I've got this JIC fitting here. I have my half inch um, drain from the turbo itself. And then I drilled and tapped into the side of the fitting for my eighth inch NPT fittings. So this will be the bypass drain off of the regulator. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this plumbed up So that's the engine pretty much assembled. There's a fair bit that still needs to go onto it, but I wanna get it into the engine bay after we clean the engine bay out so I can see what's around it, what needs to be done specifically. So next video is gonna be cleaning up the engine bay and prepping it. Um, I've got some Poison Spider aluminum inner fenders that are gonna go in, and we're gonna get all of the oil system plumbed, hopefully get the engine in, that sort of thing. So see you next video. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, share, etc. Uh, comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks.